What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Next walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally made it to Silage Town and got to meet a few interesting people. Uh, we got to see that, you know, or we got to find out where we can actually get a Steelix, which we haven't gotten because we haven't fished or anything like that. And, well, now it is time to go straight to the Pokemon Gym. First time in, like, maybe ten episodes. I could, I could be wrong, but yes. We're gonna go straight to the Pokemon Gym, challenge the Gym Leader, get our second badge, and then, uh, yeah, move on from here because, god dang, we need, to, we need to keep on traveling. The traveling thing amuses me and all that crud. So here it is, the Sile or Silage uh, City Gym, and it's one big ol', like, wall and stuff, and, you know, we're gonna have to be very athletic. Thankfully, we are. We are very athletic. And, well, as you can see, a nice view right here look at that a very nice view inside this this gym which is inside of a big old mountain or you know cave and whatnot okay so maximum effort let's see what we can do right here now if you hit onto these blue spots right here you'll be able to just climb onto these little things look at that very athletic yeah buddy now they are rock type gym leader or they are rock type trainer so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon Leah has had her fun and the Kakashi Hataki is ready to kick some butt, take names, and all that crud. And, well, time to do it. Maximum effort. I need a break after all this climbing and training. Would you look at that? Alrighty, so here we go. Rising Star Didier, wanting to battle, coming with his uh, Dweeble. Yeah, definitely a curveball right there if you're using like a grass type Pokemon right here. Alrighty, let's go. Kakashi Hataki, you know what to do. Water Pulse. Look at that. Water Pulse. Hits him. Nearly beats him. And look at that. That sturdy thing is just going to get on my case. And, well, let's go ahead and use another Water Pulse. Oh, yes. Now, normally my Pokemon would be at a higher level at this, uh, at this point right here. Mainly because, what was it? Uh, mainly because I would be capturing a buttload of Pokemon. But since we progress, we, we, since we progress since the Snowlass incident, I kind of didn't. Well, right now, like everything is being recorded on the 18th of August. So, yeah, I didn't take the time to actually do that. So, once I'm done with this gym battle right here, yeah, I'm gonna be capturing a buttload of Pokemon right here. And look at that, Relicanth, take it a big, big hit. But look at that, it takes. Gives me a big hit, and come on. God dang it. Making me yawn. Here we go. Super effective. Take that, really can't. You really can't, huh? And look at that. Guy number three grows to level 23. And Kakashi Hitake. Growing levels without even doing anything right there. Okay, alrighty. So, let's go right ahead. And heal up our Pokemon. Yeah, we gotta heal up our Pokemon pretty quick. Alright, so... Let's go right there. Hopefully that's the only Super Potion we're gonna need. And that is leading towards the exit. So, let's see. Right here. we we'll probably find a trainer, so... We're gonna battle as many trainers as possible. And then... Yeah, nothing right there. It's just a hidden spot. And then we're gonna get straight to the Pokemon Gym Leader. And, well, let's go right here. Look at that. Being athletic and all that stuff. And look at that. Can't see me. I'm Spider-Man. One of my favorite uh, superheroes. And, oh, wow. God dang it. Okay, so there's a trainer right there. All right, we're going to be battling both of them. This one, this area right here leads to, to one trainer. And there we go. And here we go. Let's get this. Alrighty. I'm ready to go. If you think you could uh, find a weakness in my defense, come at me. I do I do find a defense in your weakness. Or a, a weakness in your defense. And it's a rugged roller right here. Ah, crud. It does have that sturdy, the sturdy effect, so... Let's go right ahead and use a Water Pulse right here. Oh, damn. And nearly faints because, of course, sturdy, and it is confused. Come on! Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. And crap. 
it does uh, some damage right there. So let's go right ahead and use Water Pulse again. There we go. Alrighty. Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. And look at that. Craig defeated him. Or defeated Craig right there. Alrighty. So, let's see. Let's just get the heck out of here right here. Okay, so, let's see. While I'm doing all this, battling everybody, I'm just gonna let you guys know again of, uh... A few certain plans that have uh, come up. Uh, yeah. So, I've finished up, what, how many walkthroughs during this pandemic? I uh, started in March. Finished. Leaf Green. Platinum. Holy crap, it's Soul Rock. Eat this Water Pulse. Uh, let's see. Liquid Crystal. Black. What else did I do? What, what else did I finish? Uh, Omega Ruby's almost done. Uh, Bone Saw grows to level 18, and Lunatone's coming out, so I'm just gonna finish these guys off. Yeah, I've, I've finished quite a few walkthroughs, and we are on pace to getting to Sword and Shield probably by the end of the year. And I say by the end, like, by the end of the year mainly because I, I sorta of came upon a, 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 an issue early on last week. Yeah, uh, so... If you guys haven't seen Pokemon, or my, my uh, episode 11 of this walkthrough right here, I did explain how Pokemon Sun and Moon, both Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon, might not happen because of uh, a little issue that's going on with my streaming app. Uh, for those who don't know, I do use the NTR Viewer and KitKat uh, applications to actually stream this whole thing. And all of this uh, works, like, the main thing that works on this is the internet. You have good quality internet boom you're gonna have a good quality video and sometimes when you see some of my videos uh, lag it's because something's been interfering with the internet now for some reason some weird reason what was it uh, I think Pokemon yeah Pokemon and Zelda games are the only two games so far that I know of that need you know internet the internet turned on and that is why in Omega Ruby and right here in Pokemon X, I always turn on the internet because, you know, it allows me to, to stream it. If I don't use the internet, all you're going to see is a black a black area or a black, uh, black screen and all that stuff. Now, going into Sun and Moon, there is a bit of a difference. Uh, the way you get to it, into the internet, look at that, we're learning Fling. I'm not going to learn it. The way you get into the internet is by going into the Pokemon Palace. You connect there and you're on the internet. But once you leave the Pokemon Palace, the internet disconnects right away. Which causes a problem for me to actually stream the live game. It's only going to let me stream the Pokemon Palace. So that right there is just... It's an issue in it in itself. So... That right there is, uh... You know... That right there just causes a huge problem. A big, big problem because, yeah, not oh, crud, I'm getting my butt kicked. Yeah, that, that right there causes a big problem because I want to go in chronological order. There are ways to get Pokemon Sun and Moon out there, but some of you guys might not like it, and that is why, you know, I will be posting up on my community uh, board, uh, you know, options to vote. And I'm going to say them right here, that way you guys know. Uh, let's see. First option is to... what was it? First option is to buy the game in Japanese, go back to my old Japanese uh, my Japanese uh, capture card with no internet issues and everything, record it there. I do have a Pokemon handbook, and so I won't be completely blind on going into this game. And just do it like that. Uh, shoot, uh, record record uh, via capture or not capture card but camcorder just record my you know my gameplay via camcorder the only thing is that you probably only get uh, the one the top screen which is pretty much all you need and then uh, the other option would have to be you know uh, buy a capture card a wired capture card and that is by luck because wired capture cards cost a lot and they're rare to find. And then the final option is, you know, skip it all, like skip it all, uh, play it at a later date, and just go straight to, to Sword and Shield. So, again, I'm just, you know, ranting right here before I go battle this gym leader right here, guys. So, 
comment down below what, what option you guys think I, I, I should take. And then, you know, I'll put it on my community board and all that stuff. So, anywho, let's go. And, uh, well, let's see. We gotta switch out Pokemon right here. I'm gonna start off with Gaia number three. Because I have a bad feeling. A real bad feeling. Not a good feeling. But a, a, just a feeling. So here we go. The next gym leader. Pretty good here, dude, by the way. I've been waiting in eager anticipation. What have I been waiting for? For a worthy challenger to appear. It's quite an achievement to have climbed all the way up here. Very impressive, actually. I have a feeling that our battle will turn out to be worth the wait. I hope you'll show me that your skill is as a, or as a trainer surpasses even mine. Alrighty, look at that. Cocking his head and everything, getting ready to battle. Alrighty. Here we are, guys. Gym battle number two, finally, against Grant, the rock type trainer. And here he comes out with Amara. Amara. Now, this is one of the fossil Pokemon that you could get. And, yeah, it is a nice type Pokemon, so... That's one of the main reasons why I did not... I did not choose this Pokemon. Well, I did not go with uh, Kakashi Hitaki right here. So, let's go with a Confusion. Hopefully, this takes him out. There we go. And, yeah, that right there is uh, no bueno. And look at this. Synchronize is gonna... Oh, wait. Synchronize is not gonna do anything. Okay, so we're gonna have to defend right here. Let's go with the double team. And just like that, the Pokemon gets its butt candid to him. Alrighty, so let's go with a little bit of Godzilla, Godzilla. Alright, it's a risk using this Pokemon right here, but... I'm pretty sure I could beat it. So here we go with the Dragon Rage. Come on! Nearly beats this Pokemon, and of course, always uses freaking Thunder Wave. Which bother, it bothers me. So let's go again and use Thunder or Dragon Rage again while this guy heals his Pokemon. Oh, God, you suck. Okay, here we go. Dragon Rage. Alright, half that HP. And here we go again. Another move. Does not work. Damage by recoil and checkmate. That's right. That's right. Godzilla, Godzilla kicking butt, ticking names. That's right. Okay, so here he comes out with a Tyrant. I'm going straight to Kakashi right here because Kakashi is pretty awesome. Alrighty. Now, I do have other two, two other Pokemon to actually, uh, they can actually defeat this guy quickly, but I'm gonna go straight with my, uh, Trump card right here. Let's go, Water Pulse. Because we are faster. Oh, damn. Not that effective. And here he comes with the Rock Tomb. Lowering my speed just a bit. You suck. Okay, here we go. Water Pulse again. There we go. Tyrant defeated. Look at that. Now, when they say Rock type trainers, he has hybrid Pokemon. And look at that. Bone Saw, level 19. <laughs> You have proven to be a wall that yeah, I'm unable to surmount. That's right. Kicked your butt. <laughs> there are some things that seem out of reach no matter how hard you try. However, it's important that you never give up. No matter what the oppo or no matter the opponent uh, or the odds. I could tell from our battle that you and your Pokémon are stand at the community or to commemorate such an impressive show of teamwork, please accept this cliff badge. Bam. Look at that, guys. I'm throwing out the peace sign. You guys are not seeing it, but I'm throwing out that peace sign. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves a cliff badge. And he's going to be like, the cliff badge, with the cliff badge, in your grasp. You should have no worries working uh, together with your Pokemon up to level 40. This even applies to Pokemon you've received from other trades. And that is not all. You also get this. Get ourselves a TM39 Rock Tomb. It's Rock Tomb. With this move, a Pokemon can hurl rocks at its uh, target, not only inflicting damage, but also lowering the target's speed and preventing it from moving. Now that you've become a master of wall climber and conquer this gym, it's time that you... Wait, look, hold on. It's time that you thought how about how to apply your skills in other areas. Think about how you can improve yourself as well as the Pokemon that are always by your side. When you find the answer, that's when you'll truly be able to smile. Ready. That's pretty cool. Pretty good speech right there. Alrighty. Look at that, man. That's freaking awesome. Like a rainbow right there. Cool. 
It's awesome. All right. Let's get the heck down here. Yeah, buddy. That's right. Kellos champ in the making. That's right. Look at that. And, well, you talked to this guy. Sorry, I didn't talk to you. He didn't... Oh, fuck. I forgot about the waters. <laughs> Looks like our gym leader wasn't much, uh, much of an obstacle for you. Good job on all that. We've gone and engraved your name on those mysterious statues there. Did you, huh? Let's see. Sally City Gym, Certified Trainers, Draven. That's right. Kicking your butt, taking names. That's right. Okay, so that is pretty much it right there. Now, before I leave, there is a little something that we can do now, and that is... We can go up to the shortcut at uh, the connecting cave and actually use a strain technique. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Um, but first is first. I got to get an item right here. There's an item. Oh, God. I just uh, messed up right there. But anywho, guys. Uh, yeah, like I said. Like I said early on in, uh, in this episode. You guys have the choice to either... Well, to, to pick the fate of uh, my Pokemon Sun and Moon walkthrough. Uh, like I said, there are options, it's just it's not going to be very popular ones. Um, and, yeah, whatever whatever options you guys choose, it's fine by me. Personally, I kind of feel like maybe, like, I, I could go with, I could go with the Japanese way. I could, yeah, I could go the Japanese way. The only problem then is that, you know... I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have to be looking back and forth through through the handbook and all that stuff. But you know, if I mastered Live Calm in a in a short amount of time, I can master like reading and talking at the same time. Even though I can't read because you know Draven's so illiterate. So I'm gonna teach Strength to Bone Saw right here since it does have a higher attack right here. Look at that, Bone Song. Learn Strength. That's awesome. And let's go straight into the connecting cave. And with that, hold on just a sec. I need a, I need a repel. Let's see, where are the repel? There we go. There we go. Okay, so repels all the way. All right, let's see. Press this guy right here. There we go. Bone saw. There we go. And grab this little bastard. And look at that. It's low a TM40 aerial ace. Nice move right there. And I think some of my Pokemon can actually learn that. And let's see. Is there anybody else that wants to battle me? Ah, yes. We can push this little thing. Look at that. And let's see. I can't get out of here and it's all your fault. Sorry, I have some frustration to vent. Here, have this as my apology. And we get ourselves a TM21 frustration. That's nice. And, well, of course, the move frustration gets powerful as much as, well, as long as your Pokemon hates your guts. And you talk to this guy. Ah, yes, the HM strength is perfect harmony between Pokemon and trainer. Thought he would give me something. And there is one more thing right here. Look at that. Okay, so that is that for the connecting uh, cave. Those, those boulders will stay in those holes for, you know, forever now, since you've already gotten there. And, well, that is pretty much it right there for the connecting cave. I thought I was going to battle somebody. So, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yes. We did everything right here, guys. Okay, so... Very, very proud about this progress right here. Um, 15 episodes, 2 badges, quite a few evolutions. The team is forming, and off-screen I will be capturing a boatload of Pokemon. I am going to try... Yeah, I'm going to try and capture Pokemon up north without, like, trying to ruin any kind of, like, uh, any kind of Pokemon battles right there. Because there are a lot of rare Pokemon up north. None of them, which I will probably be using on my team, but, you know, some of them are Pokemon that I want to have on, like, in my, uh, my Pokedex. So, yep, stay tuned, guys. In another day, another, well, yeah, we're in Pokemon X, so stay tuned. There will be another episode of Pokemon X. See you guys. Thank <laughs> you.